bless up my viewers welcome back to the channel continue to like share comment and subscribe also do remember to turn on the post notification bell so right now my viewers body of woman found in bushes in saint mary the saint mary police are seeking the assistance of the public in identifying the body of a woman which was discovered at eden park in arakabesa friday morning police source say the discovery was made around 7 o'clock by a farmer walking in his farm. The farmer raised an alarm and the police responded. The woman's body was removed to the morgue. Investigators said that the residents reported hearing loud explosions sometime between Thursday night into Friday morning. The, Akar the Arakabesa police are appealing to residents with information to come forward. More information coming. Some of you is come like say are the female them the man them take a set pan now. But anyway, man nab after visiting jailed association stolen vehicle. A man believed to be involved in a car stealing ring has been arrested by police after he showed up at a Lionel Town police station in Clarendon to visit person in lockup in a stolen vehicle. He was reportedly driving a 2015 Toyota Axio motor car. The police say the two persons he was visiting were in jail after being busted for trying to steal another stolen Toyota Axio motor car. January my viewers, this man is smarter than the smartest kid in the world. You come visit a man who tried to thief a Toyota Axio and you yourself in a, a Toyota Axios stole in motor car. What kind of sense you want to have so? Or I just brave your brave. Yeah man, lock him up man. Lock him up two more time officer. The police say the two persons he visit was in jail for a busting. Yo oh, boy I'm a The Jamaica can The Jamaica Constable Force Corporate Communication Unit CCU say police become suspicious after the man turned up to visit the others in a similar car. Check were made and it was discovered that the vehicle was registered to one of the jailed men. The CCU say further checks by the force serial number registration expert revealed that the vehicle chassis and engine number had been tampered with and that the car had been stolen in another parish the man was arrested however he has not yet been charged in the meantime the two men he was visiting 38 year old kimar meeks and 30 year old tyrone smith both of Evans street in maypen clarendon have since been charged with fraudulent use of registration plate uttering fraudulent documents and forgery it is alleged that after advertising a stolen motor car for a sale on social media, they met the prospective buyer at a Maypen police station on October 14 to conduct the sale. The CCU say the prospective buyer sought the assistance of the police to verify the vehicle documents and it was then discovered that the Toyota Axia motor car bore a registration plate that was not assigned to it and that it had been reported stolen in half a tree area the police are using these latest incidents to remind persons of the importance of being vigilant when purchasing motor vehicle the police are able to assist with the verification process and persons are encouraged to contact their local police for assistant said the CCU man fine 50,000 for assaulting woman during dispute gun charge dismiss a man who hit a woman during a dispute in Trenchtown Kingston back in March was today found guilty of assault at common law and fine 50,000 over the charge of illegal possession of firearm was dismissed against Davian Roberts by the Justice Gale Justice Gale Wilshire in the gun court following three day trial. Roberts lawyer 
John Jacobs during the cross examination and also discredit the witness. He highlighted several inconsistencies in a statement that she gave to the police and her evidence in court. Allegations in the matter are that on March 1st, Robert went to visit his mother in Trenchtown in Kingston. While there, he approached the complainant and slapped her in the face and allegedly pointed a gun at her while threatening her. Roberts allegedly fled the area shortly after but was arrested. When cautioned, he said, a lie she had tell pan him. Me admit say, me lick her pan her mouth, but me never point no gun at her. Boy, my viewers, Jano. So right now, we have another situation where another cop lost their life. JFJ condemns the murder of policemen in separate incident. Human Rights Lobby Group Jamaicans for Justice is condemning the killing of two members of the Jamaica Constable Force by criminals. Corporal Olivia Mullins, who was attached to the Kingston Western Division, was killing Trenchtown, Kingston and Thursday. And Constable Brian Martin of the St. Andrew Central Police Division was murdered at a wake in his community of Ricketts Avenue in Maxfield Park, St. Andrew, last Saturday. Four other persons were shot, including a 10-year-old child. JFJ says, in a society plugged by violence, crime, law enforcement officers, force great risk in the line of duty protecting Jamaicans. The organization say it hopes that the perpetrators of these crimes will be quickly brought before the court. It is also urging anyone with information that could assist to report it to the police. The JFJ expressed condolences to the family and friends of colleagues.